Hello, this is a short demonstration of how to uh, view uh, your flight uh, path as logged by uh, the APM um, Logicopter software. So um, I'm assuming that you've uh, connected in terminal mode to your APM, um, that you've downloaded your logs and saved them off to your disk somewhere. Um, now what you do now is you don't use log browse. If you use log browse, you'll just get the log files themselves, which is not really what we're after. Instead, you need to go to the directory that the logs are stored in, and this is where I keep my logs, the APM 2.5. And the file you're interested in is the KMZ file. Now, I'm assuming here that you've previously installed Google Earth. If you haven't installed Google Earth, then this won't work. Um, the Google Earth application is installable on um, Windows PCs, Apple Macs, um, so wherever Mission Planner works you should be able to use it. Um, you'll know if you've got Google Earth installed because the KMZ files will actually show the Google Earth uh, logo as you can see here. So all you basically do is double click that logo, or that file shall I say, and that will spawn Google Earth itself. As it loads Google Earth, Google Earth will then load on the left hand side you'll see it, the log file that you've just double clicked and Google Earth itself will then zoom into the location that the log file applies to. And here's you can see one I prepared earlier. Um, now this log file, whoops, this file is now showing you uh, the complete flight path for that particular log file itself. And if you have a look on the left hand side you'll see a little twirly. If you, double, if you click it once it'll open up into log. Click, click that once and it'll open up into uh, the flight path itself. Now the flight path is represented by colours and each colour represents one particular mode that you may have switched your uh, uh, multi-rotor in to while you was flying. So you can see here I've used a mixture of stabilise and loiter and return to launch modes uh, as I flew around. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on here to turn them all off and then the symbol will all the symbols will disappear. And you'll notice that each one of these are colour coded. So if I click the first one, you can see that I started my flight in Stabilize. And you might just be able to see if I zoom in, uh, you can see that little uh, orange mark down there, which shows the short period or the short flight path that I was in Stabilize. So having lifted off in Stabilize, I then switched into Loiter. And I actually flew a short distance in Loiter mode, which you can do. After that, I then switched into Stabilize. And you can see there the green line here, which matches that, that particular part of the flight path. And I'll just zoom out so you can see it clearer. And you can see here that in stabilize mode, um, I flew much further afield. And that's roughly 500 meters away from where I'm standing, where I was standing. I then switched into loiter mode, and you can just see the little blue symbols come up there, little blue flight path to match this one. And afterwards, I then uh, flew in stabilize for a short distance. Now I remember this flight quite well because as I was standing here I actually flew behind the line of sight behind some trees which then got in my line of sight of the uh, FPV video transmitter and when that happened I actually lost my place I didn't know where I was and you can see here that I've, I've tried to correct my flight path but then I suddenly realized well hang on a sec I can't see anything so I need to do something a little bit better to get back home. Now, I could have just flown back along the line, but I'd already, as you can see, I'd already turned, changed my orientation. So now I don't know where I'm facing, so I don't know where the sticks are taking me. Are they taking me north, south, east, or west? So at that point, I hit return to launch, and you can see here that the quad did what it's supposed to do. It made a beeline using GPS straight home to me in a direct line. Okay, I'm going to turn those other parts off, just to clean up the display a little bit. So having made its way back to me, I felt nice and comfortable, so I, I switched back into loiter mode. Um, now loiter, you can see just by the red dot there, uh, which was obscured by the RTL, um, just allowed me to gather my thoughts and work out what I wanted to do next. And I could see on my ISD that I had plenty of battery left to do a bit more flying around. So I flipped into stabilise and I went off for a bit of a fly. And here I was using some fairly high speed manoeuvres, uh, some high speed flying, and you can see that on the video. Uh, I'll post on YouTube. Um, after that, I hit up Loiter. I brought it back home, and I hit up Loiter, 
um, again you can see there and I then switched it on to stabilize and did a bit more flying around before finally bringing it home and landing it at my feet so turn everything back on again Oops. And, okay. just turn those off because they make the display quite messy so there you are that's the consolidated uh, view of my flight today using the KMZ file that was recorded uh, as part of the log download from uh, the APM 2.5. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and find it useful and uh, that you get uh, many times uh, many happy flights with yours. Thank you.